Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your basic Sorgonomics for this July 7th, 2015. And uh, so much going on in the area. Oh yeah, I guess I'm not supposed to announce myself. <laughs> I'm gonna look at these YouTube tips and uh, some are like, you shouldn't, people know who you are. If you're on video, you got a graphic that tells you uh, you, you got all this stuff. You're listening anyways. It's on the name of the channel. So uh, that was a little tip I got from Sexy Savvy Social. I, don't know, I, I catch a tweet every once in a while. I'm like, well, what she got to say about this? But it's an interesting idea. Maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll reassess how we do this. But anyways, you're not all YouTubers, for one thing. I think most of you are on audio. I think very much most of you are on audio. So you're not gazing into my eyes, my tired Saturday, Monday night eyes, going on right here you're not seeing the webcam auto white balance and going uh crazy on me right now uh so uh anyways i uh have been haunted by this question that somebody asked me a few weeks ago and uh we were talking about work we we're talking about all kinds of things and uh i realized and we talked we discussed this a little bit on power hour this week go check out the uh, uh will and the sorg morning afternoon power hour it's over on the same blog where this is at Sorgatron.com. You can find all the links to subscribe there. And uh, I think that was a spot where I revealed the... Uh, I, 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 was, I was asked a couple weeks ago, what is it that you do? This is going to be a self-reflective thing, and, and maybe this will help you with whatever the thing is you're trying to do, too. Um, and, uh, and a minion here is going to help me with this. And uh, so what is it that you're working on that you're proud of and i don't like to use pride a lot i mean it's one of the sins and such but uh but but no no seriously like what are you what are you happy with what do you what do you enjoy what is what is that thing and and i did come up with one answer kind of sheepishly sheepishly uh, one of the most recent things i was involved in that i was very happy with and i felt really good about uh was a uh, um, um uh, lucky after dark which was uh, a documentary piece, a 10-minute documentary piece done for the Pittsburgh Foundation. It was actually brought to me. I, I didn't film it, anything like that. It was kind of a, uh, hey, here's the materials. We need to make something out of this. And, and, and somebody helped me, uh, had a vision for it, and kind of directed me along, and I, I kind of took, took the reins from there. And, um, and we were able to put together a really, really good piece uh, it's one of the few things where I am tremendously happy with how it turns out, how it, how it turned out. Uh, there's several projects that I've done, uh, especially over the last few years. I mean, you know how it is uh, if you're in this kind of environment where you have a project and resources, time, etc. means you don't get done the thing that you thought was going to make this a great project, right? Uh, that that little bit of time to work on that design a little bit more, that little bit of time to like, oh, just to smooth over this flow of this video could, would have been so great, right? I, I just had one where we had to actually go over time. I was like, man, you know, this can be a little bit better if you can uh, uh, let me spend another uh, half hour, hour on it, you know? Uh, you know, that kind of pleading is like, please play me more to do this thing the right way kind of thing. Or another, there's a documentary I did a couple years ago. And those that know me, I often cite this as one that I believed in. I think it was a tremendous story, but because it wasn't given the proper time to work on and work out the kinks, you know, it, it's not something accessible to everybody. It works for the audience. And I think it could do so much better and reach out and and make a difference for a lot of people but it is what it is and you know people have an expectation of quality and i don't think it meets that uh as far as what am i happy with what we do here i i really think uh you know i, I did trim some of the fat recently and basically uh anything that i didn't trim the fat of recently is something that I find a value in, that I am happy with. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be truly complete with any of it, and you know, much like we talked about on Power Hour, you're always going to be tweaking and moving, and we're to have, even still having conversations even about the Wrestling Mayhem show here. We're almost 10 years in. And it's something that we're still kind of trying to figure out. What do we do to get more people in the door? Uh, we got plenty that are listening, uh, the numbers are, are really, I think, decent. Nothing that's going to get us an Audible sponsorship or anything significant, but um, you know, uh, enough that that we have a community, and I think a very strong niche community. And uh, the fact that it's something, 
I don't know, the uh, 80% is just showing up. You know, we showed up every Tuesday and we did the Wrestling Mayhem show. We did the Indie Mayhem show. We did the awesome cast, right? And uh, those are kind of my little childlings. And uh, and, and even, you know, some of the stuff that we're, we're doing that's more... I want to say laid back, like the power hour was, was really kind of made to be a, a more laid back kind of thing, get back to basics kind of podcast. And it's okay. We missed a week here. You know, that's not something that I'm, I'm it's not in the priority, but it is a be nice if we could do this, you know, it's good to have this conversation, this works some stuff out, you know, uh, which also gets me in the line of doing stuff like this for meditation meditation which it was something i heard somebody ask of a you know, i'll say many times gary v is like this seems like you organize your thoughts during these these uh, uh q and a's and it is and i think i i i've kind of uh, uh locked myself into the same thing where i'm doing these basic sorgonomics again something i'm very happy with uh being able to do this and be able to get a response from you guys out there uh, you know it, it is something that much like that situation turns into other content um there are a few things i'm going into pod camp for instance and i'm like geez what the heck am i going to talk about i'm just going to do another intro to video class i i want to do something significant right and not to de-emphasize that kind of thing i think we had a lot of great conversation and i hope people got a bit out of our conversations last year but um i want some kind of concept i put out there not just hey guys look at this you know and uh, and and I think there's something germinating there a little bit, but but even like looking back at what are the conversations we've been having on here? Look at the headlines. What is the thread? Right? We could talk about what how Facebook's dealing with video. Maybe we can do a session on that. Maybe I I've actually considered doing a mini and, and give me feedback if you like this idea. If you would like to hear me talk at length for 45 minutes on this topic. I, I, you know, having one on Periscope, Meerkat, and even the mini videos that we've been experimenting with, with Instagram and, and, and uh, not Vine so much, but Twitter video. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you may notice I've been using Twitter video a bit more. Um, again, getting the tip uh, through the grapevine of, hey, respond to people with Twitter video. And uh, I'm really happy with the re- one the reactions from people when when you do that. I nobody expects that for one thing. And I, I want to challenge you. And maybe maybe if I'm out there talking on the twitters to uh, uh, to myself as I feel like I am sometime, and uh, you know respond to me with a Twitter video. I kind of want to see where that goes and uh, see how how creative you guys get out there. Use it as an outlet, you know. But I mean that's um. But rolling back. Uh, but no, those communities and, and able to do something like that. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do you know the the, the times I'm I'm able to get in front of some people and teach, and and you know, hopefully spur some good ideas out of other people. Uh, I, I I made a comment uh, a, a little bit ago. I felt like I was tapped out of good ideas for a good long time, and uh, I I think I'm coming back around on it, and uh, we're we're working on some fun stuff, and. Uh, but you know you get in these lulls, but but this is really turned around to. I'm looking forward, and I'm looking for the next project. I'm looking at the next project. I'm looking to try to complete the next project. I'm hoping there's going to be a next project sometimes, and uh, I'm not. You know, there's always a celebrate your successes, right? And I'm not taking a step back. It's like, damn, we just completed. 478 it'll be this week of wrestling mayhem show if i have my numbers right i think i think it was i think i put that in the system right this morning um that's not a number that a lot of people can do and i i think i can honestly say if there were five people listening i don't know if i'd still be doing it um because you can only talk into a black hole so long before you either get certified or uh or, 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 or something else happens. So that does live on that feedback and the reactions. Um, you always overwhelm me when I say, yes, I do listen to the awesome cast. And I'm like, wow, I listen to all your stuff. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's a really cool feeling. And that's, uh, that is when I can step back and say, oh, well, we're doing something here, you know. So what are you thinking? You uh, you got something you're proud of? Actually, if you're in the, on the YouTube comments, I want you guys to respond. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. I want an answer to this. 
What's something you worked on recently that you're proud of? It doesn't have to be your day jobby job. It can be your hobby thing. It can be something else. I, I presume if you're listening to something like this, you are a generally creative and socially type person. Is there something that you did? Even if it's just something you did on Twitter, is like, I got such and such to to, to tweet at me. I, I I get giddy every time I get Rick Seaback to respond to me on Twitter. Like, And I don't do it too often. Like, I don't want to bug the guy. But I just randomly name drop him and see what happens. And, and it gets interesting. And sometimes a little awkward. But that's also what happens when I drink around him. So that's, uh, oh, hey, social media is just an extension, right? Anyways, uh, let me know. I want to know, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, comment to these... Uh, YouTube video, look up Basic Sorgonomics with Michael Sorg on YouTube or even on that blog at sorgatron.com. Please, I want to let you, let me know what is that that project you've been really proud of. Like, that was a good one. That was the last good one that we did. Or that's the, that's the, that is a good one that we did. You know, or you did, or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, until next time, have a great day. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.